Hello there, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's a free website for all things Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else we find interesting. In this video, we're gonna make this optical illusion that looks like vertical black lines, but in fact, if you shake your head from left to right, you should see a word appear. All right, if you're not too dizzy and you haven't got a headache, let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop, and what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make a new image. And I'm gonna make this one 1,000 by 800 and 300 pixels per inch. Now, the reason for that is that I want this to go onto social media. So I'm making it a fair size for it to go on Facebook and Twitter and that kind of thing. All right, I'm gonna click okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is to make those vertical black and white lines. There's several ways we can do this. We can do this like a transform or we can copy a black line, but here's a really easy way. If I create a new layer, and then I go to the default colors, so press D for default, that'll give me black as my foreground color and white as my background color. Then go to the gradient, and choose the black and white, the foreground and background, okay, and the linear gradient. Then click and drag down, and I'm gonna hold shift, just go get it nice and straight, and then let go. And we get this gradient going black to white down the screen. I'm gonna change this to a smart object because then I can come back and change this a little bit later if I want to, and I may well want to. Next, I'm going to go to Filter, and then I'm gonna to go to Distort and Wave. Now, I've already been playing with this, so you can see some of the settings that I've already come up with. Here's some of the important ones, the number of generators, but we wanna keep that around about five. Next, Square, we definitely want it to be on Square, and now the Wavelength. If I want to take the wavelength up, use the top slider. If you want to take it down, use the bottom one. As soon as they become separated, you'll notice that we get some strange results. So we want to keep them together. Okay, good. Next, there's the amplitude. Again, bring them up or down using the top and the bottom. Of course, we want the black to disappear from the top of the image there. Next, the scale all the way to the end, and we want repeat edge pixels and we're good to go. I'm gonna bring this down just maybe a little bit. There we go. And then click OK. Now all I have to do is to get rid of the white, and I can do that by clicking here next to layer one, and then I can just reduce the white there with the blend if. Only have to go down just a little bit, and click OK. To confirm that we've actually got a see-through image, if I take the eyeball off of there, we can see the checkerboard where the white used to be. So now we've just got black vertical lines. Let's go back onto the background layer and turn off the vertical lines. But I'm gonna call that one lines just so we know where we are. There we go. And on the background layer, then all I've got to do is go over to the text tool and click down and type something. Now because I was on the background layer, it means that that type layer has come in between the two. I'm gonna type tip squirrel. There we go and click the tick. Now I want this to fill up as much of the page as I can. So I'm gonna press Control or Command T to transform, to get my transform handles, and then bring them out. Just like that. There we go, make it nice and big. Even bigger. Okay, good, and click the tick. Then I'm gonna turn the black lines back on. Now we can still see the text, of course, but I've got it right in the middle of the two layers there between lines and background. So with that layer still selected, I'm gonna to go to the Move tool, and then I'm going to reduce the opacity of that layer by using the number keys. So I'm gonna choose two, and it changes it to 20%. And actually, that's gonna be about right, I think. I can try it by shaking my head. Doesn't work too bad. I can go three for 30%, but now I'm starting to see the words themselves, and that's not really what I'm after. So 20. Now I can see the letters there, so that's really too much. So what I want to do is hide them a little bit. Well, fortunately, we made that layer with the lines on there as a smart object. So I can go back into my smart object, double click wave there, and then I can come back in and change the wavelength right down, and then click OK. And now I've got even more lines, and that covers it up a little bit better. And again, shaking my head is gonna make sure that it's working well. Okay, you're gonna get a headache and feel a little bit dizzy by the end of this. Experiment and see what works well for you. I'm reasonably happy with that. I may even take this down, maybe the uh, 
opacity there to maybe 15%. Okay, again, keep checking it. It's difficult for me to check it here because all the lights are on here, but you know, normally that was gonna work really well. Once you're happy that it works, just go to File and Export and Export as a JPEG. Then you can upload it to Facebook and Twitter and any other social media outlets that you use. And of course, I'd love to see it. And if it's appropriate, I'd love to share it too. So don't forget to tag me in it and I'll share it out. My name's Eric Reno. You can find me at Tipsquirrel on all the social media outlets. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.